Hi, today we're going over the build of an uh, Egg Finder GPS module. This is a module, uh, it's, it's an add-on for the LCD receiver kit um, from Egg Finder. And what it does is allow your receiver to know where it is so that it can give you directional guidance to wherever your uh, tracker is. Uh, for instance, when your rocket lands, it can give you uh, azimuth and direction based off uh, the location of the receiver. So handy module, quick build, very quick. This is my setup. It's a Hako FM203. I use a 0 0.5 millimeter conical tip uh, iron. Um, and a few you know things you see here. I've got a silicon mat. I've got a, pan, a couple of pan devices I use, very helpful. Uh, and I do have my own Kester 0 0.02 inch um, soldering wire. Uh, that's the same stuff that Egg Finder sends out in their package. Um, so I won't use the stuff that they send, but if you don't have that, you should definitely use the soldering uh, wire that they send. It's excellent stuff. Uh, here's the package that you get. So as with all of these, open up the blister pack, take out the uh, all of the parts that come with the kit, I'll lay them out on your workspace, and we will do an inventory. As I note in many of these videos, I do recommend doing the inventory and, and actually checking off your checklist. Um, one to make sure you have all the parts um, but also to ensure that you know what each part is and makes it a lot easier later on when you're actually doing the soldering uh, if you identified the parts so take everything out of the uh, anti-static bag lay it out and then we will go through and uh, do the checklist we are going to be doing going through the rev c1 uh, version of the gps board Here's the PCB. It's got a pre-mounted GPS uh, antenna, which is excellent. You get an LED light. You get some resistors. In this case, you get a uh, 330 ohm, resist, a couple of resistors marked 331. Uh, the capacitors here, there's a 0.1 UF. Uh, this is the paper carrier. This is what Chris refers to when he says a paper carrier. And this is the clear plastic carrier. These are 10 UF. Don't mix these up. Uh, easy to, they look very similar. Uh, but make sure you're using the right ones in the in the portion of the build. You get a three pin angle header. Um, you get some mounting nylon uh, mounting screws. If you're gonna be using the uh, uh, egg finder case, as I noted, you get some soldering wire, which you should use, and you get a female to female jumper cable. Uh, this is a very quick build. There's only three service mounted parts you have to solder on and an LED light and a three pin header. So the, the build can probably be done in just a few minutes. As I know, I use a pan device, excellent for soldering, uh, all hobby use. And I use a couple um, tweezers, a, a flat pair and a pointy pair, and that's pretty much all you're gonna need for this build. Um, it's, like I said, pretty simple build and very quick. So get your board mounted to whatever work uh, space you're gonna use, whether it's the desktop surface or a pan device like I'm using here. And then the first component that's gonna go on the board is the, um, the resistor um, and as with all these service mounted parts, just tin one pad, uh, and then use your tweezers to put the, tack the, uh, the part in place to the pad you just tinned, um, get it lined up, and then I like to rotate the board using the vise, it's, that's one of the benefits of it, and then securely uh, solder both sides. Uh, I like to touch up that pad you just tend to because usually there's not enough solder there but you don't need a huge amount of solder you don't want to bridge underneath it but you do want to make sure that you have a nice uh, uh, tent on each side to secure the chip and you're going to do the same thing for the two capacitors the 0.1 uf and the 10 uf and i'm just going to reiterate here make sure you're get, you're using the right one they look exactly the same uh, the 10 uf is a little bit larger uh, than the than the 0.1 uf so you know, you can see it that way, but the main difference is the 0.1 UF ones that we're doing right here come in a paper carrier and the 10 UF ones come in a clear plastic carrier. It's really, th this is the most, probably most critical part of the build in the sense that like you have to make sure you're putting the right one in the right place. Other than that, it's these three service mounted parts and your, you know, once you get these in, you're done with all of those service mounted parts and the only thing left is a couple through hole parts which are pretty easy so once you finish up this 10 uf capacitor get that in place 
you have to make a few decisions here once these are done and we'll talk about that really quick it's the decisions are how are you going to mount this in the case that you're going to be using right and it, it makes some uh, it has some implications on where you're going to put your led light and your three pin angle header i am going to be putting this board into a black arrow uh, receiver case which means i want the uh, board to be face up so I'm gonna want the LED on the top side uh, and here's a here's a view of what uh, it would look like in a case now this is an older GPS board but it's going to be the same uh, orientation um, so I'm gonna put the LED on top now make sure you note that the, the LED has two pins one's longer than the other one the longer pin goes into the positive hole the one marked with a plus sign so ensure you have the polarity correct uh, on the LED, insert it into the holes. Uh, I do tape it down, makes it so it stays in, and then just solder the two pins securely um, to the board. Pretty simple. Um, once those pins are soldered in, uh, go ahead and trim the excess uh, pins off here. I do like to make sure I use a, uh, a pair of tweezers to hold on to that because those those uh, extra the, the long parts can go fling it off into your eye or anywhere else. So do be careful here, a little safety, make sure you wear eye protection and uh, control that. But once you have those trimmed off, the next thing is to put the angle header in. So I'm going to put it at the bottom because I found that easiest for when I build the uh, black arrow cases. So put it in, tape it on, flip it over, and solder in all three pins now that's it uh, this board that's pretty much it for this board uh, if i wasn't taking the time to film it i would say that the entire build would probably take about five minutes uh, so pretty quick now i'm not going to go mounting it through mounting it but you should test it and so i'm just using a um, a lcd receiver here uh, make sure it's been updated to the right version it's, this is a later model, so it already has all of the pins in place to just plug the cable straight in uh, to the right port. But what you're looking for here is for it to go through its cycle. It's gonna, and I have it set for uh, a GPS mode, so it's gonna go look for a TRS. It's not gonna find it, but then it's gonna go look for the GPS module. And if everything worked fine in your build, it will go find a satellite until you've got a fix and the light will start blinking and you know you've done a good build here and you're ready to go. Um, and then that's it. You've tested it. It can be mounted. Uh, I will go through it in a different video to how to mount these things and, and uh, go through the build of a, of a Black Arrow case. But that's it. It's a pretty simple build. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, can do this one pretty simply uh, if you need to. You probably are not going to build a lot of these. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put it in the comments below. Thanks and good luck.